What's up 360 electricians? This table's empty, but not for long. In this video, we're gonna do an unboxing of some of the parts and materials we're gonna stock in the Garvin Industries Southwire sponsored warehouse section of our service van. Are you ready? Let's get into the video. All right, well, before we begin, this whole video is sponsored by Garvin Industries, a Southwire company, as you can see from the box. If you wanna get 20% off your entire first order from Garvin, head over there and use my coupon code 360 Garvin, all in capitals, and whether it's one part or a thousand parts, you're gonna receive your discount. Now, I always tell everybody, when you have that next big job and you need to order parts directly to your door, sign up for Garvin, have that account ready, use the link, and let's open this box. All right, I can tell you right now that this thing is pretty heavy. The cool thing that Garvin does is when they send you the material, they're actually putting it right here on the label. These are all the parts and the quantities that I ordered from Garvin Industries. Now, they're really known for their industrial and commercial parts, low voltage, and some south wire tools. So I highly suggest you head over there and check out the website as soon as this video is done. I'm excited to unbox this because what I ordered is the everyday parts that we're gonna need in our service van. Now, if you've heard me talk about the service van before, you know that the service van is my rolling warehouse. However, be careful with my terminology. It's a rolling wholesale house, but you should not be going to your van to pull every single part of every single job that you're doing. No, you need to create a job box system that I wanna teach you on this channel in the coming months as summer comes along. And when we hook up with Ranger Design with their incredible parts keeper and their dividers in the van that you'll see later on. So what you wanna do is you wanna have a job box. A job box is what you actually are gonna pull from your garage warehouse or your shop warehouse or your wholesale house. You're gonna put it into what I call the parts bin. That parts bin goes with you to the job sites. All that's done using what I call the blue sheet. I teach you all of this. Don't lose me. I will have courses for everything I do for inventory, pulling parts, and making sure parts are on job sites. Make sure you go to the website, www.the360electrician.com. Sign up for our email list so when those videos come out, you will be the first to know. All right, so what I do is the rolling warehouse is your backup supply. That's where you're gonna go and cherry pick those one or two parts that you don't have in your job box. Now, you might go on an emergency service call, yes, and then you sign the contract and you start right away, then go to town. You should have all the parts you need to generally take care of 60%, 70% of the types of calls that you do as an electrical contractor. My inventory in my van might differ from an industrial electrician's van, correct? My van is set up to be super diversified so I can take care of almost anything I need, residential, light commercial, all the way to three quarter inch, sometimes one inch in parts, and that's what we ordered here. Let's go ahead and open the box. I know that's what you're waiting for and see what I got to stock into the van. All right, as I mentioned, all the parts that I ordered are here on the outside of the box. That's really cool and I'll tell you why. If you ordered any parts and you wanna recheck your inventory on the job site before you even open the box, you can get your order list that you printed and double check with the box. All right, starting off, let me tell you, I got a lot of cool stuff in here. We ordered a bunch of metal boxes, both with brackets and without. So in here, I order just enough that I'm going to need stock in the van, usually six or eight pieces of 4S boxes with brackets. Now I get the ones with the double knockouts up to three quarters, so half inch, half inch, or you can get to three quarter. I don't go any bigger than that. Those are usually specialty jobs, commercial jobs, where you're gonna need to put a one inch conduit. And if I did that, I wouldn't put it in a 4S box anyway. I would either do a 4S deep or a 5S. So remember that. If you don't know about 4S, 5S, we'll do that in another video. That has to do with the size of the box itself. 4S, technically, four inches across. 5S, five inches across, right? Hey, correct me if I'm wrong. All right, so it's random, but I've got a mogul base to a standard base converter. These are great when you're gutting your wall packs, your metal halide fixtures, or your high pressure sodiums. When you're gutting them and putting LED corn cobs, this is what I use. It's the adapter that goes from a mogul to a standard A19 base. Super important to stock in your truck 
along with the corn cobs all right industrial covers this one happens to be for a 50 amp maybe a 1450 or 1650 receptacle p rings multiple style of p rings i want to have every option available we got more 4s boxes as you can see i'm heavy on 4s because we do a lot of residential work here you go there is the 4s deep with brackets brackets means it's got the brackets they're going to hold on to the studs drywall metal studs whatever it is if it doesn't have these then it's just a 4s or 5s box now this is a 4s deep same thing as i said double on the knockouts you can go with half inch or you can go with three inch super important don't get the ones that have only half inch or only three quarter that's not what you want you want the combo okay they cost a little bit more but you only want to keep one box that's as versatile as possible in your service van that's to keep weight low and inventory low right all right moving on hey i've been waiting forever for these now since garvin industries is a southwire company they did send me the southwire 832 kit right here i probably have the 632 at least i hope i do as well but the kits are super important we're going to put those in the vans so that it's always available on the job sites all right every construction site new construction site is going to need your 40 pancake boxes 40 four inches O round not 4s for square and these ones usually don't come with a combo half inch three quarter in fact i don't know if i've ever seen these in three quarter i think i've only seen it in half inch again comment down below if you've seen the 40 box in half inch three quarter knockouts now these are not fan rated by the way these are only made for sconces and regular fixtures if you're ever going to hang anything on a ceiling you probably should always do fan rated because you never know when your client's going to say hey i'd rather have a fan in there now you got to change the box out so we got about 12 of those because it's super popular all right two inch two hole straps why two inch two hole straps that's because if we're doing any kind of rigid pipe on services overhead you're usually going to need your two inch rigid straps so i ordered some because i didn't have any in stock here in montana moving on you got your adjustable brackets for your 4O boxes, 4S boxes. I love these because sometimes the plumbers will put the pipe right in the middle of where your box goes. Sometimes these will help you to center that 4O box right in the middle of a sink. Otherwise, these are great to center between studs as well. Again, not fan rated. This is for standard fixtures only or even standard for device box. Maybe a smoke detector that you want to position perfectly center. These are not made for drop ceilings and T-bars. Those usually have a clip on the end. These are literally only made for wood studs and aluminum studs or steel. We got our 30 amp outlets, industrial covers. 30 amps gonna be good for your electric car chargers and your dryers, right? There we go, 40 deep boxes. Now these do come with the three quarter half inch combo. I also do 40 deeps because a lot of times when I put these in the center of the room or this will be the main fixture, I can splice in these. Now a 40 pancake, they're only limited, I believe, don't quote me, but comment down below. We'll ask uh, Steve over at electrictime.com if he can probably help us with that. Only two number four. 14s can go in this and sometimes in the 30s you can't splice at all it has to be an end run so you're going to need a 40 deep if you want to do it for a fixture or again you could do a p ring or a plaster ring that's a 40 on top of a square box and that'll work as well moving along i got some garvin rework low voltage plates my guys didn't know but i also call these tiger boxes when they're the blue ones because like a tiger's i guess uh, paw they grip into the drywall they had never heard of that here in montana but in california we call the blue boxes that are your new work boxes tiger boxes a lot of times but this one is for low voltage we got a couple of those that's if we're going to hang tvs and do some residential stuff again industrial covers you always got to have your different combos this one is your double decora receptacle why this would normally go in a garage or a barn you're going to have a gfi and you might have a stack switch so why not keep it the same instead of leaving a toggle and a gfi i know what you guys are going to say jeff a toggle switch is 89 cents a decora switch might be two dollars hey for a couple of dollars i'd rather leave it consistent we got some one inch chase nipples chase nipples are super important to me when you bought a butt up two boxes together a lot of times i'll use chase nipples on the side so i don't have to have a ground bushing works out pretty nice actually uh, but that's the way to go these ones don't have the lock nuts with them we got a couple of toggle ones now why do single toggles because a lot of people will have a plate that needs to get replaced or they need to switch again on the outside toggle is the cheapest way to go we got some toggles more industrial covers we do have the combos there i didn't realize i bought the combos but we got plenty of combos and industrial covers i bought very limited packs of two hole straps all right moving right along 
some 4-0 blank covers. Now, these are not your normal 4-0 blank covers. I happen to get the ones with a half inch KO in the middle. This comes in useful for several reasons. On light duty, you can hang an EMT off of this, but I don't recommend it. I'll have to check the code on what it's allowed for. I've never used it for that. I always get ones with a half inch knockout because if you hang them on a wall, you can put a strain relief and a cord cap on that and bring down extension cords. Now, what I also use these for is on a wall for low voltage doorbell transformers. Usually they go into a half inch knockout. I'll put the transformer on that, I'll have it loose, I can wire it up and then I just clamp it on and we're good to go. Makes it super easy. Four O blanks with a half inch KO in the middle. All right, and last but not least, we got our cowboy straps or our mineral relax straps. These things are great to hang conduit either vertically or horizontally. Now I call them cowboy straps because one of my guys in LA said they're called cowboy straps because they look like a spur on the end of a cowboy boot. So we ordered half inch, three quarter, and one inch in our cowboy straps, been relaxed. All right, that seems to be it. All the rest of the stuff in here is a repeat of what I've already taken out. Now in our next videos, we're gonna take this stuff and show you how we're gonna stock it, how we're gonna do the counts, and most importantly, how we're gonna get our parts book put together. That's right, you and me. Are you subscribed? If not, hit that subscribe button. Go to the website, www.the360electrician.com. Sign up for our email list so you can be notified as soon as more van video, stock video, and all videos to help you become an electrical contractor and level up as an electrical contractor in the trade. We will see you on the next one.